the young person's guide to becoming a rock star. What you need, in summary, belief. If you can live that dream, others will too. You also need talent, charisma, and looks. Commitment, fighting spirit, and the will to do the job properly. Put these elements together with management sympathetic to your uninhibited approach to life and the correct artistic environment, then you'll be ready to create the tune for hell. Kill it. That knicker dampening hormone liberating snog and juicing the beat and pulse of youth. Jokes were hey, it's it. That's great, you can widen out, yeah. 29. You can come off the base. The music business can change you, and not always in a good way. In our case, Psycho's recent sexual initiation produced an unforeseen result. Yeah, that's lovely. No, widen out, widen out, and hold it. Welcome Jogs Were Hey to Saturday Wow! Saturday Wow! Excellent, Whoa. brilliant. Welcome to the show. So Thanks. we've got Fiona, Jez, Big Willie, um, Joe and Physio. Psycho. <laughs> Psy Psycho. <laughs> Whatever, anyway. What I do know is that Martin has been absolutely dying to meet you all. Hey! It's Martin the Marmoset, everyone! Hey! 49, two next. Good. In on the mama set. stop your tickling yum. I can't even you. He's just screaming, he's bonkers. Oh dear. Uh oh, Martin. You haven't fallen in love again, have you? She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he always falls in love. Oh, look at him. He wants a cuddle, Joe. Give him a cuddle. Oh. 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 Go on, he's ever so huggy. Come on here. Oh, 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 good grief. What's he you. doing? Right, in a moment we're going to ask you all to help judge our scary, hairy tarantula competition. So come on, kids, uh, bring them on here. They are. Look at them. They're whoppers. Also, we need someone who's going to go out and speak with Uncle Christopher in the agony corner. I'll do that. Brilliant. Right, um, um, okie dokie, excellent. <laughs> do that again, and you're dead. Is everything all right over there? Cheeky again. What are you doing? Martin, the Cue the jingle. Cue the crappy jingle. He's cheeky. He's naughty. He's just clean your breath. He'll make you giggle. Slap a jiggle. He's Martin, the mischievous mama set. Brilliant. Oh, isn't he great? Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're not a spider. Hold the spider. <laughs> so, we it. just heard your first single. Lassie, we are bag on a heed. Oh. That sounds interesting. We just told you... There, rush out and buy it, kids. Oh, sorry, over there. That's the last thing we have buy it. Excellent. OK, so it's Psycho, isn't it? Ah. Right, Psycho, uh, tell us what it's all about. Well, it's about a friend of Jersey's who had terrible trouble with plucks. I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous, like, but one look at her face and such city, I mean... It's just gave you the boat. God, what are you on about? Great tits in that boat. Oh, no, no, right. no, I've uh, got something else. Brilliant. Um, I think, I think we're going to go on to uh, judging the area to actually competition. Is the spider gone? Are you ready, Martin? Am I ever? I'm... Ah! 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 Shit! Shit! Ah! Oh, ah! What's Johnny doing back? Oh, my God! Uh, cut wide! Cut wide! Get Get off the spider! Uh, cut to the kid, cut to the kid. That spider's cost me 30 quid, he's gonna pay for that. No, uh, uh, cut to Agony Corner, go to Uncle Christopher. Right, Jocks, I think we've got to go over to, to Uncle Christopher in the Agony Corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, now. Hi, hello, welcome to Agony Corner. 
This is the part of the show where you ring in with your problems. So let's go to the phone straight away and find out who's first on this morning. Hi, I'm Walter. Hello, Walter. What's your problem? I've been bullied by my English teacher and he won't leave me alone. Just keeps picking on me. Walter, that's terrible. Let me tell you something. Bullying is always wrong. And when it's your English teacher, it's even worse. I feel for you, I really do. Let's see if there's something we can do to help you out today. Woolly, do you have some words of advice for Walter from Kilmarnock here? Um, do you know where this guy lives, Walter? Sure. Yes, he does. Good. Now, I know a couple of guys in Paisley... Great. ...who would be more than happy to get round there... Good! ...and kneecap this bastard. How does that sound? Um, ah... Uh... Thanks, Ali. Well, that would be fantastic. Excellent. Who's um... next, then? Sorry about that. We're having some technical difficulties. We'll return to Saturday Wow shortly. What I ought to do... What I ought to do is make a few phone calls and ensure that your clients never work again for this or any other television channel ever. Mr. Devon, we understand you'll be a wee bit upset. I... You have reduced Debbie here to tears and jeopardise the public image of one of the most dedicated and professional children's broadcasters in the field. Sorry, Debbie. I don't mean Debbie. Neither am I speaking of the irreparable damage to the reputation of Martin the Marmoset. I'm speaking now of Uncle Christopher, who has resigned from Saturday Wow forthwith. I can't say the guy asked my opinion. We've taken 27,122 calls at our switchboard. What did they say? 2,038 were from citizens outraged by the death, live on network children's television, of a rare South Bolivian fruit spider. 6,388 were from children requesting kneecapping for their teachers, interestingly. 12,822 for photographs of Mr. Psycho McPhail and the address of his fan club. It just keeps happening. And the rest, demanding for some unaccountable reason which continues to evade me, your reappearance on the show. So? So, we're offering you a regular spot for the next four weeks, and if Mr. McBoyne can moderate his language, we'd like him to take over in the agony corner. <laughs> you mean I'd be Uncle Wally? That is correct. You just said that we ruined your programme. You did. But we'll get a shitload of coverage over this debacle. Should be worth a couple of million in ratings. Mr. Debenham, we'll be happy to help you out. Good. Hospitality, anyone? What for a bit of that? Great. Well, then, that didn't turn out too bad, did it? Of course, sir, we'll have to adjust our fee. Don't push it, Mr. Stilton. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. So, Psycho. Do all the girls think you're the best-looking one, then? Aye, they do. Does it not bother you, though? I mean, you know, they're not interested in you as a person. They just want to get into your pants. No. I mean, what I'm saying is, is that I only feel truly comfortable with people who are as famous as I am. You know, I understand the sort of pressures that we're under. And it's only then that I can truly open myself up. Do you understand what I'm saying? I believe I do, David. It says all your fault. I don't know what you're talking about. The artist formerly known as Psycho. What do you have to shag him for? I took pity on him, OK? You're just jealous. No, I'm no. What? Nothing. Oh, come on, let's go get some babies and go back to the flat, eh? Aye. You feel like you've climbed a mountain. You've got a deal. Carved out an audience. Made your album. And been plunged oh, into a whirlwind lifestyle of promotion, oh. gigs, oh. and personal appearances. Oh, Celebrities just round the corner, Debbie. but the pressure's getting to you. Oh, Debbie, baby. Oh, Trust together day on day, never out of each other's sight. Little things start to niggle, and somehow, in ways you can't even fully articulate, Willie, how long? You're not happy. <laughs> oh. Willie, how you right? Can I have a shite in peace? Give 
Is um, Psycho ready? Guys! Psycho, man! Debs! <laughs> look at you, good man! <laughs> hey, look at you, baby! You look so good at Bell Snug, yeah? Mm, you too, gorgeous. Well, that's your long jet. Mm. This talcum powder night is secrets in. And let's face it, it's just no you're seen, though. Let's go! <laughs> Uh, you can't avoid a certain amount of interpersonal tension within a band. Just try to keep things normal. Respond in an adult way. Keep your grip on reality. Take an eye for an eye and a light for a He's at last, Jazz. Oh, poor baby needs an all-over body massage. Jazz! You gotta shut that door! Frost freezing my funny off. You okay? Aye. Bloody fantastic. You've got to be careful. Stuck in a strange city, you're subject to constant temptation. And if you're feeling that everything's getting on top of you, you'll be susceptible to activities that you might later come to regret. Hello, Mum. Yeah, hi, it's Jeremy. No, I'm okay. No, you're gorgeous. No, I'm not just saying that because I'm your ma. Your dad loves you too. I does. Right, put your hands on your hips and check it to the right. Two, three, four. To the other side. Two, three, four. Feel the burn and, and pump it. Right, and shake your head. Let's get them neck muscles working. That's it. Shake your head. Right, after right, we're all going down to Monstro. Five, six, seven. What are you doing, woman? I'm just achieving cardiovascular equilibrium. It's Jez. Needs a bit of cheering up. Oh. Come on. It's woman trouble. What's the matter with you, boy? Hey, 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 pull yourself together. Are you greeting? Are you, are you big poofy? Oh, what, is this because of that lassie? Aye? Well, forget her then. Well, you just have to face it, you're just no good looking enough. Oh, well, I just tell it like it is, son. Aye? Bye. Are you nice? <sighs> nice. I'm always nice. <laughs> 